What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys my newfound appreciation for turbo putting. Turbo putting is like a really goofy thing that you've seen some players do like Johnny McRae and you've seen Calvin Heinberg do some forms of turbo putting. But turbo putting is actually really useful, I found. It's gotten me out of trouble a few times now and so I thought I'd share with you guys some techniques on turbo putting and when to use it and why to use it. So first of all, turbo putting is a overhand putting technique meaning you're throwing it over your shoulder, kind of like a football or something, and it's putting a counterclockwise rotation on your disc, which means it's gonna fade to the right. So let's talk about grip here. So different turbo putting grips, there's this pretty standard one where you put your thumb on the bottom of the flight plate, and you put your four fingers out on the rim, and you throw it like that. There's a modified one where you kind of make like a, like a Spider-Man kind of th type thing. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. And you put two fingers out on the rim, and you throw it like that. I see some other funky ones, but let's just throw a couple and then we'll talk about it. So as you can see, it's a really weird way to putt, but the pr it's actually very practical. So let me show you kind of the practical uses of this. Say, say like I'm behind those bushes over here, or actually I'll stand, be I'll stand behind that. So say this is a bunch of foliage and I don't can't and my putting swing is really obstructed. I can instead throw an overhand over all this and it doesn't get in the way of my swing. That was pretty funny. So the way to generate speed and spin is to hold the disc out like this, and then when you pull it back, you're going to rotate your wrist like that and flick your fingers at the end. Since it's moving so slow, it's gonna wanna hyzer out really quickly. So you're gonna wanna put an anhyzer angle. And remember, this is moving counterclockwise, so it's gonna fade like a forehand. So put that type of anhyzer on it. Anyways, this is something I totally recommend you guys try out. It has saved me a few strokes in the course, and I'm sure it'll save you guys a few too. 